Hello everybody, this is Julia from Just One More Card and today I have a really fun project for you. I'm going to show you how you can enhance your stamped images with very easy doodles and you don't have to have any special skills for that. I'm going to be using this beautiful stamp set from My Favorite Things and I also have a whole bunch of masks here that I created using the matching die cuts because I was too lazy to fuzzy cut it. And I'm just going to stamp a bunch of flowers, like a, literally a bunch, as in something that you would get from a like a shop where you can buy flowers. Um, so that kind of bunch I'm stamping. And uh, I'm just using the masks here to make sure I'm not stamping into the different elements, but I'm just laying down the masks. I'm not even adhering them. And if you don't breathe too much, like if you don't sneeze, it's going to work absolutely fine. Also keep your cat away from the desk. You know, just as an insider tip, in case you have a cat, because she might interfere with that. Now, um, you can see here, once I shook off all the masks, I have these, um, I have this bunch of flowers. And because the masks were die cut, I, they had like this border around them. And of course, um, now the stamped images also had like kind of ended in midair. And I'm just using my Copic Multiliner to fill in the space. Like the shapes are easy enough that you can do that. There's like you don't need any drawing skills. You just need to finish the line basically. So um, the images are complete. To me, that is totally worth like the little effort here because otherwise I would have had to fuzzy cut all the masks. And now for the doodling part. As you can see here, all I'm doing is drawing lines. I'm not doing anything else than that. I'm drawing lines, not even long lines. They don't need to be straight. They can be crooked. It doesn't matter at all. All I'm doing is drawing lines. And you can see that just by adding those few lines into these flowers, I'm adding a huge amount of detail like literally huge amount of detail. Suddenly the, those open shapes look completely different. And look what happens if I do slightly curved lines. These leaves actually look round now. And this is not like, you don't need to have any special skill for that. Look at this, I'm just doing lines and now it suddenly looks as if those round flowers actually have petals. Now, if you want to go crazy, you could color each of those strips separately, like have different colors in one flower and whatever else. I decided that I just wanted to do a regular blending from dark to light. I'm using uh, Shin Han brush markers here. Um, they work, they are alcohol markers. I'm mixing them with Copic markers. They work exactly the same, just that the Shin Han markers are cheaper. Um, um, that's the only reason I will be listing the f uh, colors in the video description below or on my blog. And then I'm continuing on with the Copics and I'm doing the same thing everywhere. I'm simply blending from dark to light. I'm not worrying about anything fancy here. I'm really just doing simple blending that everybody of you can do. Don't say that you can do it as long as you have some markers. May that be watercolor markers or alcohol markers or even pencils. You can do blending from dark to light. That is the easiest blending technique there is, and I know that you can do that. So don't worry about anything fancy, light sources, shading, whatever. Just do blending from dark to light. Because you added those doodles to the flowers, they already look a lot more interesting than maybe just the open um, uh, shapes would. So you can just like spend some energy on the, do on the doodling, and as you saw, that was super easy. And then you do regular blending from dark to light with the colors that you have on hand. And that's already going to make um, this card look so much more interesting than if you would have just stamped the regular shapes and colored those in. Like don't, I, I keep saying this, but you know, I often see comments like, ah, oh, I'm not sure I can do this and I will never be able to do this. And how do you do this? Don't worry about copying somebody else or making something special or, or light sources or textures or whatever. Just do whatever feels good to you. This is supposed to be something to have fun with. And if you want to improve your own skills, then challenge yourself. For example, as I showed here, grab a flower stamp, draw some lines in that, like try some doodling and then see where that takes you. And you can see here that my bunch of flowers looks really awesome, even though it's a very clean and simple card. I grabbed my Stardust gel pen and I just had to add some sparkle to some elements of the flowers here because you know me, I love sparkle, I just can't do without sparkle. And then I grabbed my white gel pen and you don't have to do that, but I just, I couldn't help myself. And I added white dots into all the floral elements here. Just, 
I can't help myself. I know some people don't like the dots. I love the dots. So here are my dots. Lots of dots, like dots o mania. Is that even? I'm I'm making this a term. Dots o mania. So like you know what? Let's make this even a hashtag. Add lots of dots to your project and then hashtag it uh, dots o mania and and cc me on Instagram and Facebook. I would love to do what you create. I hope you got inspired. I hope you had fun. Thank you so much for watching. I would love if you guys would subscribe and share your projects with me. Cheers. <laughs>